The 2023 NBA Awards had the basketball community buzzing after being announced earlier this year. Most were not surprised to hear Jaron Jackson Jr., also known as Triple J, took home the Defensive Player of the Year award. How, though, did the 23-year-old from Plainfield, New Jersey, evolve into one of the NBA's most feared defenders? Despite considerable adversity, Triple J's journey from his early years to achieving the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year title is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Today, we will dive into the life of Jaron Jackson Jr., the defensive monster who has taken the NBA by storm. We'll take a look into his early childhood, through his high school and college years, to his current status in the NBA. You'll want to stay until the end to see just how extraordinary Jackson's journey was to become the league's top defensive player. Jaron Jackson Jr. also tied for the youngest player in history to win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Do you know the other three players? Stay tuned and we will announce them at the end of the video. Now, from his early days, Jaron Jackson Jr. showed promising potential. As the son of an NBA player, his future seemed almost set, but his journey to NBA stardom was nothing short of a miracle. Jaron Jackson Jr. was born on September the 15th, 1999 in Plainfield, New Jersey to Terry Carmichael and Jaron Jackson Sr. His father, a former NBA player, had an NBA career spanning over 12 seasons and was even part of the 1999 NBA championship winning San Antonio Spurs. His mother, although did not play professionally, has been around basketball all of her life and was recently appointed as executive director for the WNBA in 2020. Raised in a basketball household, Jaron Jr. had exposure to the game early on, attending most of his father's NBA games as a kid. His dad started coaching him from a young age, and Jaron started playing basketball for his school team back in junior high. Triple J started to showcase his talents on the court with his impressive height and natural ability for the game. However, it wasn't just his physical traits that set him apart from the rest. Several of his coaches raved about Jaron Jr.'s exceptional basketball IQ, which made him an elusive threat, especially on defense. As Jaron transitioned to high school, his career took flight at Park Tudor School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Here, under the guidance of coach Kyle Cox, Jackson began to make a name for himself, not just across the state, but nationwide. During his freshman year, Jaron underwent a massive transformation as he diligently refined his shooting, dribbling, and passing skills. However, it was his defensive capabilities that truly set him apart. Jaron's tall frame, combined with his innate sense of timing and positioning, made him one of the nation's top shot blockers. His ambidexterity enabled him to block shots with either hand effortlessly, a skill that would come in handy later in his career. After his freshman year, Jaron helped lead his team to the Indiana State Championship during his sophomore and junior years. His elite defensive abilities earned him a reputation as one of the top defensive players in the nation and his offensive abilities also started to shine, averaging double-digit points. In his final year, he transferred to La Lumiere School, a prep school in Laporte, Indiana, to play his senior season. Not only was he named a McDonald's All-American, but USA Today also included him in the All-USA second team. He caught the attention of several top-tier colleges and was ranked among the nation's top high school players coming out of his senior season. After receiving multiple offers from top basketball programs across the country, he ultimately signed with Michigan State University due to his strong relationship with Tom Izzo, who has a strong reputation for molding many of today's NBA players. During his freshman year at Michigan State, Jaron quickly left his mark on the court. He was the leading shot blocker on the team and a dominant force within the paint. His ability to protect the rim made him a key defensive asset for the Spartans. Jaron also demonstrated his offensive skills, showcasing his ability to shoot from deep, a rarity for a player of his size and position. His performance did not go unnoticed, earning him a place on the Big Ten All-Freshman team, and was also named the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. More impressively, Jaron was named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, further establishing his reputation as the defensive monster he has always been. Despite spending just one year at Michigan State, Jaron's impact was significant. 
he set the single-season record for block shots with 106, shattering the previous record of 72 by Ken Johnson in the 80s. His impressive freshman year performance boosted his draft stock, and NBA scouts took note. His shot-blocking ability, combined with his scoring abilities and basketball IQ, made him a highly coveted prospect for the 2018 NBA Draft. After going one and done at MSU, he entered the 2018 NBA Draft. Jaron Jackson Jr. was selected fourth overall in the first round by the Memphis Grizzlies. In his rookie season, Jaron showcased his versatility on both sides of the floor, averaging 13.8 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 1.4 blocks per game while shooting a remarkable 35.9% from beyond the arc. However, it was his defensive contributions that made him stand out. His shot-blocking skills were on full display as soon as he entered the league, earning him a spot on the NBA All-Rookie First Team. After his impressive rookie season, Jaron Jackson Jr. continued to grow as a player, particularly on the defensive end. After spending countless hours studying film and perfecting his craft, he evolved into a more versatile defender, capable of guarding anyone on the court. His improvement was evident in his second season, where he averaged 1.6 blocks per game. However, during the season, Jaron suffered a significant knee injury that sidelined him for the rest of the year. This was a major setback for a player just starting to hit his stride, and many analysts and experts questioned whether he would ever return to the defensive monster he was before. Triple J worked relentlessly to return to the court. After undergoing meniscus surgery and physical therapy, he surprised many by returning to the court even better than before. His three-point shooting and ball handling improved significantly going into his third season. Yet, his injury struggles were not entirely over. In his third season, he faced a few minor injuries that caused him to miss games intermittently. Despite these setbacks, Jaron bounced back and finished the season as a finalist for the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year award, leading the league in blocks with 2.3 per game. He even tied the Grizzlies' record in one game with nine three-pointers, showing off his range from downtown. Despite the challenges he faced, Jaron Jackson Jr.'s future in the NBA looks incredibly promising. His continued development as a player, combined with his resilience and determination, makes him an exciting player to watch on both ends of the court. The 2022-2023 season marked a turning point for Jaron. Leading the league in blocks for a second consecutive season, he won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. He's tied with three other players being the youngest in history to receive the award at age 23. Do you know the other three? Kawhi Leonard back in the 2014-2015 season, Dwight Howard in 2008, and Alvin Robertson back in 1986. This accolade cemented Jackson Jr. as one of the premier defenders in the league. His ability to guard multiple positions and block anything that comes near the rim has made him a high-value player for any team. But beyond his individual success, Jaron's defense has been instrumental in the Grizzlies' playoff runs over the past couple of seasons. Looking ahead, there's no doubt that Jaron Jackson Jr. has a bright future. He's already established himself as a defensive force, and his offensive game continues to evolve. With his work ethic and dedication, it's only a matter of time before he emerges as one of the league's standout stars. Looking back at Jaron Jackson Jr.'s journey from his early childhood to becoming the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year, it is a true testament to his hard work and dedication. If he is able to stay healthy in the upcoming seasons, there's no limit to what Jaron can achieve in his career. He has already established himself as one of the league's top defenders in his fourth year and his offensive game only continues to improve. It's only a matter of time before he becomes one of the league's all-star players. As his journey continues, there's one thing that's clear. The best is yet to come for Jaron Jackson Jr.